Welcome back to my channel. In 2092, Earth has become almost dreadful. The UTS partnership constructs a new circling home for mankind that impersonates the normal cycles on the planet. Nonetheless, just a pick not many are allowed to climb and become UTS residents, while those excess on Earth take in contaminated air and battle to take care of their families. Under direction from UTS organizer and president James Sullivan, the organization is pursuing making Mars another Earth, developing hereditarily changed plants in the world and transforming it into a neighborly climate for people. To direct the populace in circle and watch out for the non-residents, UTS oversees them by means of a severe arrangement of rules and expenses. Numerous non-residents from all over the globe function as space sweepers, gathering space trash drifting in Earth's circle and offering it to the organization for endurance. The plot follows such a team of room sweepers and their boat, the Triumph. Triumph's group has Kim Tae-ho, Tiger Park and Pals, and Android, all drove by Commander Jung. Tiger Park handles the boat's hardware and was a medication noble on the planet. Buddies used to be a robot fighter yet presently assists fix the boat and cast the net for space with trashing while at the same time setting aside to get a total skin join. Commander Jung was one of the kid masters supported by UTS and made a few greetings tech developments for the organization at the same time, subsequent to finding the organization's actual operations, turned into a privateer and attempted to kill James Sullivan. Her team was killed and Sullivan made due, so she changed characters and had an eye relocate. Teho, when a youngster officer, is on a quest for his little girl, Suni, who was lost, shot out into space. His only life point is to pay for the specialist's recuperation group to find her body tracker before she floats out of circle and loses all sense of direction in space until the end of time. Subsequent to getting a vehicle drifting in circle, they find a kid in it. News reports say that she is a robot named Dorothy, and has a weapon of mass obliteration inside her made by the fear-based oppressor Bunch Dark Fox. The team likewise finds a cell phone in Dorothy's pack with a few missed calls from somebody named Kang Ayanyu. They get back to an, expecting the other party to be important for the Dark Fox Bunch, arrange two million bucks for returning Dorothy. Tiger finds Dorothy attracting his lodge and starts a discussion with her, as he winds up attracted to her. Teho and Tiger convey Dorothy to a club to gather the payment, yet she strays in the group. UTS officers are laying on pause and a slaughter follows. Tiger and Teho find Dorothy when Officer O10 zeroes in on them and shoots her blaster. Dorothy's eyes change tone, and the triplet are shielded from the impact by a kind of power field around them. Commander Jung is watching everything through a feed on the boat. She additionally sees the one who came to gather Dorothy yelling after her and calling her coat name. As she watches Dorothy safeguard Teho and Tiger, something clicks to Jung. The threesome return to the boat and Dorothy busies herself drawing and playing. When asked by Jung what her name truly is, Dorothy says coat name is her Korean name. Teho overlooks her, thinking she is a robot, while Tiger becomes cordial with her and proposes keeping her. Teho excuses the thought and goes to set up one more call with Kang Inu to adjust the trade. Dorothy and Teho find tomatoes on the plant that Dorothy had restored from a dead tree, and sell them. Commander Jung tracks down papers in Dorothy's knapsack and goes through them. Pals puts cosmetics on Dorothy and recounts her the tale of Teho. As a youngster trooper, Teho was warrior O1 at 17 years old. On one of his journeys, Teho shoots and sheets a boat that conveys a few escaping non-residents and kills them all. He sees a child still alive in the arms of a dead lady and takes on the young lady. She revives his mankind and Teho finds himself unfit to hurt others, subsequently, he is excused from the power, made destitute and decreased to a non-resident. Following one year of vagrancy, Teho becomes frantic and bets, disregarding Suni. She goes astray to track down a bite, and keeping in mind that external there is a garbage influence that makes her be blown into space. A covered man follows Court Nim to the latrine in the production line. Her shouts alert Teho and Tiger who hurry to save her, yet they are trapped by a gathering of veiled individuals. Tiger beats them all and Commander Jung mediates, finding they are other space garbage gatherers. Their chief makes sense of that Dark Fox isn't a psychological oppressor association, yet rather a natural gathering, and that Court Nim isn't an android yet a human youngster. Brought into the world with an inherent sickness, her dad Kang Inu infused her with nanobots tracked down in space garbage to save her life. The nanobots helped treat Kortnim, yet they likewise gave her a special power, 
quote Nim could now speak with other nanobots and recuperate and safeguard things. Sullivan discovered this and utilized quote Nim to transform Mars into a sound, green planet. He intends to kill Dorothy in a nuclear bomb blast, since nanobots must be obliterated by breaking them into molecules through outrageous high temperatures. Since it was near Earth, the blast would make the production line fall onto the planet, obliterating the Earth and making Mars the main feasible choice for all people. The team choose to join Quote Nim with her dad and impair the bomb, with the assistance of the dark foxes who will find and take drive. Come to the gathering point. Fighters assault them, yet Teho and Quote Nim figure out how to escape on the triumph. They enter a space trash field while attempting to escape, and nanobots encompass their boat and start to consume it. Quote Nim speaks with them, and the nanobots scatter. They enter the manufacturing plant where the get-together is booked, just to be trapped. The UTS officers kill every one of the dark foxes and Dr. Khan prior to removing Quote Nim. Sullivan leaves Teho 4 million bucks as a trade-off for leaving Quote Nim. Teho takes the cash, yet the rest choose to save Quote Nim, no matter the consequences. Teho goes to give the cash to the UTS officials and they hand over Suni's last track down stays to him, her garments, colored pencils and Korean composing book. In it, Suni had composed that she needed to be a decent individual like her dad. This helps Teho to remember the commitment he made to Suni, to be the best man she'd at any point be aware. He reclaims the cash, and gets back to the boat with another energy before they generally go to save Quote Nim. Sullivan goes live, reporting the mass program. The bomb has been outfitted in the plant, and Quote Nim is lashed to it on a seat. The group free Quote Nim, however Skipper Jung finds that the explosive cannot be disarmed. It won't just annihilate anything in its impact range, yet additionally obliterate any nanobots nearby 5000 kilometers. The main way Quote Nim's nanobots, thus her life, can be saved is assuming that she is out of reach. The group embarks to fly 5000 kilometers away, yet are intruded on by Fighter 01. Tiger battles with her and thus charges her from the manufacturing plant. The group convey a message to the remainder of the space sweepers who come to their guide, battling the going after troops. The number of inhabitants in Earth learns of Sullivan's actual objectives when they hear him relate his arrangement through the Space Sweepers Crisis Comms channel. The triumph is blocked by Sullivan himself who, in his very own boat, attempts to battle the group to get back Quote Nim. At the point when it appears they have lost the fight, Tiger and Teho deal with the last lift that puts the boat barely out of the impact range. The team uncover their genuine arrangement, Quote Nim was protected with other Space Sweepers. The Triumph had taken out the bomb from the center and diverted it, prepared to forfeit their lives to save Earth and Quote Nim. The bomb detonates, be that as it may, Quote Nim has brought the nanobots to safeguard the Triumph, guarding the team. In the fallout of the fight, UTS apologizes for the concealment of the genuine objectives and vow to assist with making Earth more livable. Quote Nim is embraced by the team and, utilizing her powers, empowers Teho to express farewell to Suni. Buddies gets her skin unite. Tiger and Teho bring Quote Nim sensible to assist with developing trees and they all space clear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe.